two cyclists. No, no worries. Have a good one. This is a long road to cycle. They have got batteries in them. We passed two blokes with uh, batteries in the bikes, and they said they weren't using the batteries at the moment. Really. Obviously, you can only cycle so far with a battery, so they're using uh, pedal power. And then we. Uh, 50 yards further on there was a, a bloke on a mountain bike with no battery and his uh, wife stroke girlfriend had got a, what is it, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the brand, it's, but it's a Liv, uh, that's a nice bike, I looked at one of those for Lynn until I saw the price of £6,000, it's a stonking bike, it really is. She said, oh, I paid all that money for because I can now keep up with him on his normally aspirated leg bike. So, uh, but even those lifts, I think they've got a range of about 50 miles. It's a huge thing. You don't want to cycle a lift without a battery. It weighs a, a ton. Uh, nice to see some walkers here with hats on. We're going left here. Afternoon. We are going left. Afternoon. It's not even morning. It's still morning yet. We're getting seat sunstroke here. Brett told somebody afternoon. So at least we've come off the crush and run. We're onto sand. This is a little bit better. That, that track goes. Past West Head Gill. Oh, that's Rutland Rig. Oh, that goes on forever. Then that goes to London. It's that bloody long. Oh, I'm a, obviously, I'm only joking. It doesn't go to London. But it's a, it's a long path. So we're now on the junction of Oos Gill Head. O U S E G I W -L, L Head. H E A D. Where we turn left. On to Dickon Howe, D I C K O N H O W E, written in italics, towards Monket, M O N K E T, passing on our right, West Head, no, sorry, West Gill Head. Only in Yorkshire you get all these silly names. Uh, should be able to video most of this towards Monket. Oh, here we go. We've lost the sand. Got back onto the Crushen Run. And the culverts. Crazy thing. thing about these culverts, we're on a flat piece of land here, you know, water's not going to run off anywhere, it's going to create big bloody puddles, there's some sort of side slope there but you know, you can see where the uh, JCBs have stood to put this down, so obviously I imagine once upon a time this was just more land and mud and they put the crush and run down and topped it with this sand um, substance which is actually quite nice I bet it's quite difficult to ride on in the middle you'll have to ride on where the tyre tracks go if you're on a push bike but I bet it's B-O-R-I-N-G walking this bad enough this. Oh well, hey, yeah, look, another culvert oh, going downhill. That makes sense. I agree with them. Another little lay by there where the JCBs are parked up to create this culvert. And we're going downhill now. Look, Brett, downhill. Whoa! So far, so far we came up at the start, and um, 
little bit green now. That was uh, quite a steep incline to get to this moor. Might have to go to first in a minute to slow down. Here we go. Get down to about eight miles an hour. What does the video say? change the size of this right in five minutes yeah that's another two minutes of lane um, as you can see it's highly interesting this section of the lane is identical to this section of the lane with another culvert in it a runoff on our right where the water streams down what they're doing really is taking the water off the track into that drainage channel on the right so it doesn't run down the, the track itself and wash away all the crush and run that they've spent millions of pounds on in the lane but you know what water does find its own way find its own way Sorry for the people who live in this county. The amount of money that the council have spent on this crush and run. I might call my blog Crush and Run Coast to Coast. Bloody hell, what's happening here? What is going on here? This is interesting to say the least. What is that? Crush and run pile. Oh dear. Oh, nice. I'll have to come up here one day, Alan. I must prefer to drive up here and drive down. Close to Monkit. Oh yeah, definitely. Alan, got to definitely drive up here, mate. Might have to go into low box here. Ooh, where shall I go? I think I'll go this way. So water erosion has done this. That's why they're dipping those channels and those culverts to stop the water eroding the lane. Nice though. Nice little tricky section that. Be nice going up there. Shame that somebody's put that boulder up there to stop you driving up the hard section. Might have to winch that out next time we come up here. So this is the end of the lane at Monkit, M-O-N-K-E-T. Where I will need a... Oh, this is a nice step as well here. Look, look at that. Into second. Nice. And the gate that's big. 